This is the UAE Team Emirates Colnago V3RS of the up-and-coming stage race talent and Slovenian time trial champion Tadej Pogacar. Colnago with a top of the line Campagnolo group set. Is this the coolest team bike in the Pro Peloton right now? Be sure to let us know in the GCN app where you can vote on this bike and all the other pro bikes we feature. The UAE Team Emirates Colnagos are finished with Campagnolo Super Record EPS 12 speed group sets. Very nice indeed. And with the SRAM teams now running 12 speed as well, it begs the question, how long until the Shimano teams get a 12 speed offering? Pogaccia is said to be 176 centimeters tall and is riding a 50 centimeter frame. On that, he's got 172.5 millimeter cranks with Luck Kio carbon blade pedals. For gearing, he's running a 5339 chain set paired with an 1129 cassette. Pretty standard for the pros, but we can expect them to change it depending on the parkour that they face. The cockpit comes from Dada. It's their Elementi Alenera model with an integrated stem of 120 millimeters. The aero bar itself is 42 centimeters wide. It's very neat and very nice, and it's used by a few teams and pro riders at the moment. Breakaway specialist Thomas de Ghent is also a fan of this particular bar and stem. The mechanics have done a nice job with it as well, tidying up the cables with some heat shrink wrap. UAE Team Emirates is sponsored by stagers for head units and power meters and consequently attached to the bar is a stagers M50 head unit for all of Pogaccia's data linked up to a stagers left hand crank power meter. The team is sponsored by Pro Logo Saddles and Pogaccia has opted for the Zero C3 Pass Knack model with carbon rails. And on the ground, he's running 25mm Vittoria Corsa Graphene 2.0 tubeless tyres mounted onto Campagnolo Bora WTO 45mm rims with that trademark G3 spoke pattern. I like that. Now, interestingly, UAE Team Emirates have been one of the teams leading the way with tubeless tyres in the last couple of years, being fully aware of the rolling resistance benefits. Last season, they often used tubeless tyres on flatter stages and then switched to lighter tubular wheels once the roads hit the mountains. Time for some measurements. Now, Pogaccia's saddle height is 73.5 centimeters from the center of the bottom bracket to the top of the saddle. And his reach from the tip of the saddle to the handlebar is 58 centimeters. Time now for a free hub sound check. Nice. What about the GCN Scales of Truth? Place your bets now, you've got about two seconds. Well, all of this weighs in at 6.8 kilograms. Bang on the UCI weight limit. Very nice indeed. Now I think you'll agree this is a fine looking bike. So keep your eyes peeled for more pro bikes on the channel and don't forget to let us know what you think of them.